uh, race number eight on the card. This race will be on uh, TV3 as well, the Mitre 10 Mega Cambridge uh, four-year-old gel uh, geldings and entires. And you can also catch it on trackside, but uh, this is the Emerald for the boys in uh, race number eight, the penultimate. Looking at the market option, seven oh eight, $1.90, Terra to Love, uh, the New Zealand Cup winner, also the Taylor Mile winner. Uh, $10 for Jar Kalimbra, who was an upset winner of sorts last start over Sir Lincoln. That was over the standing start. Uh, Franklin Stakes, Dreamy Eagle 41, uh, there's uh, support Mustang Mac, the Australian Raider, great to see the Aussies over here for a crack this year, Gold Ace 360 uh, and across the page uh, we've got longer odds available for Murphy Maguire 61 uh, on the option there 708, all of these available on tab.co.nz. We're going to look at Terra to Love. He's drawn barrier two and taking you back to his Taylor Mile win. He does defeat Gold Ace, who's third in this event, but this is Terra to Love two starts ago, uh, winning the Taylor Mile, beating home Better Cover Lover and Gold Ace. The outside, Better Cover Lover awaits the passing lane, then easy on the ice, State of Affairs. Further back is Chaka Lember as they swing in for Mustang Mac and Excuse Maker at the 150. Terra to Love, the one to catch. Better Cover Lover is winding up, still a length away, and behind them, Gold Ace, the State of Affairs, Terra to Love though, and Anthony Butt are going to lead virtually all the way in the Noel Taylor Mile. Terra to Love back in winning form, second better cover lover, third at the line was Gold Ace on the outside of State of Affairs. Well, as has been the case the last two seasons, you mentioned Terra to Love, and you've got to follow it up with Gold Ace. We're looking at Gold Ace's performance, and this was finishing second last start in the Messenger. You see him highlighted there, Mustang Mac, the initial winner, uh, the... Uh, eventual winner I should say in Gold Ace finishing second. I uh, went to the workouts over the weekend and was second behind Ideal Scott but this is Gold Ace last start to the races on the 4th of May. Joined on the outside by Gold Ace who's dishing it up to the favourite as they swing in and behind them next is Easy on the eye. Hands Christian out deeper. Then came Mustang Mac further back to Nola Seelster. Our Gold Ace has gone straight past the favourite Terra to Love. It's in trouble. Coming after the Mustang Mac. Then we've got down the outside uh, State of Affairs. It's Gold Ace in front. Must Mustang Mac, the Aussie, is going to grab it and will get the messenger. Mustang Mac, another group one tonight for Dexter Dunn from Gold Ace. Then we've got photos, State of Affairs, Hans Christian. There's a look at Gold Ace last start. Greg, as mentioned leading into that, Terra to Love Gold Ace, they've gone hammer and tongs for two seasons and we see them stalk each other this week. Yeah, what a great battle it's been over the last couple of seasons and uh, invariably there's only a small margin between them. Uh, Terra to Love's drawn to leave here, lead here. He has Anthony Bart. Uh, uh, spoke to Paul Court yesterday. He said uh, his father, who's uh, been up with him, Graham, said the horse is in terrific condition. He's got the right barrier draw. Here he is running past the Australasian King in uh, Smoking Up. That was him at his absolute best. I'm not convinced that he's been at that level again this season, but I'll tell you what, if he is from that draw, he'll be extremely hard to beat, similar to what he had in the Taylor Mile. In saying that, I'm not sure he's going to get any cheap sectionals here because Gold Ace punches straight through behind him. Now, each time Gold Ace has sat outside him, he's beaten him, uh, as we saw there in the Messenger. Now, he had an excuse Terra to love. Uh, he pulled a flat tyre for the majority of the race and um, although it was an excuse he probably still raced a little bit disappointingly. That's from the connection so you know that's uh, that's a, a fair enough uh, point to make. But both of those horses, great chances. Mustang Mark spoke to Dexter about him. He said look I've only had one steer on him. There was a bit of a, a melee into the first bend and uh, he was able to get himself into the 1-1 one, one and, and showed you know how good he can be. Uh, how's he going to get in the 1-1 one, one from Barrier 8? Well Dex is a genius but but not even he may be able to get there, I think, on Saturday. Uh, he has to be respected, though. Uh, is it a case here, Craig Thompson, of we just take these two very, very good four-year-olds on our, uh, particularly on our pick six? We've got a bonus quaddy as well on the day. So, um, yeah, do we just need the two, or are you thinking something else, uh, some other permutation might evolve here? No, Greg, I think we only need the two in this league. Um, I'm very keen on Gold Ace, Greg. Uh, I think the draw actually is not too bad. It's never easy taking a horse on the second row, but I think he's in the right spot to follow Terra to Love everywhere he goes. Now, um, I talked to Stephen Reid tonight. He said, listen, uh, the trial on Sunday was OK. They had the, uh, the the galloping hood on. They've taken that off. They're putting the pull-up blinds on uh, on uh, Saturday afternoon, Greg. They've only used that twice, the New Zealand Derby and the Jewels. Both times he won those events. Uh, they feel he's got him, that Stephen Reid feels that he's got him back to the form that he, that he was in 12 months ago when winning the Jewels. Um, 
his trial on Saturday ran home in 54.6. Uh, Ideal Scott ran 54.4. They don't go any quicker than that, Greg. It was, a, it was a nice trial. And as I say, Stephen's changed some gear on him. Very happy with his condition. As he is with the stable mate, Easy on the Eye, who was a very good workout winner on Saturday. But he's a rolling type. He need to draw off the front to be put in the race. He's going to need a lot of luck with Mark Purden aboard from the second row. So gold ace for me. Uh, Terra to love. Very good winning the Noel Taylor Mile. Had an excuse in the messenger. He'll go forward from barrier two. A New Zealand Cup form that he shown back in November. He's clearly the one to beat, but I, I agree with you, Greg. I'm not sure if he's in that sort of form. So for me, gold ace over uh, Terra to love. I talked to uh, Dean Braun last night. He's still in Australia. He arrives today. Uh, he said, listen, he said two workouts since the uh, messenger. Both times, the first time, a little bit disappointing on a sticky track behind Ideal Scott. He's improved a lot with that trial. He went to uh, Cambridge on Saturday. Dexter got a home in 54.8 and he's tightened up with the run. So Barry 8, Night Ideal are looking to go forward from the draw. He's going to need a lot of luck from out in the car park. For me, it's, I think, a race in two. The two Class X, Gold Ace and Terra to Love, Jess, I think that'd be the two that I'd need on my pick six this Saturday afternoon. Absolutely. And Greg, quickly before we move off that, Ian Small, he's got great draws with his two. And they're not going to, you know, they're not just going to give up the lead very easily. No, that's right. Zanola Seals, they're not blazing gate speed, uh, expecting a very big run from Jar Calumbra. Beat Sir Lincoln last time. And uh, I'll just get Craig's comments there. What are you expecting from these uh, two in particular of Ian Small? because uh, Jack Alumbra, uh, he, he might have a decent sort of a crack at even crossing Zanola Seelster and, and dropping into the trail now. If that eventuated, and uh, incidentally David Butch has gone with Jack Alumbra over Zanola Seelster, do we take a lead from that at all? I think you do, Greg. Uh, I mean, he usually has the first choice of the uh, small train runners, and uh, he drove Jack Alumbra to win last start. I actually think, Greg, I'm not saying it'll happen, but I think the gate speed may come from State of Affairs at barrier number five. Now, uh, he's got very good gate speed. Whether he can cross them is debatable, but I think they've got to go forward from the draw. So it is setting up for a race that they will run some time. Terra to Love will look to go forward. He needs to get across the Nola Seelster. Where's the pressure coming from? Is it a State of Affairs? Is it Mustang Mac from barrier number eight? Because he can leave the gate as he did in the Jules trial with Ideal, uh, with Ideal Scott on Saturday afternoon. He left it equally as quick. So it's an intriguing race, but I do agree with you. Uh, the small runners from inside draws at one and three certainly have their chance from a lovely draw. Well, we certainly know how potent things can be uh, come Cambridge if you're sitting in the trail. And if you're the right horse and the speed is on, Jess, it is the place to be on the markers, that is for sure.